Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Alan Asher Photography here with a little quick update video about some breaking news from ZWO regarding their ASIR Plus about having a new refreshed 2024 version but there is a lot of controversy and a lot of uproar about the removal of a very specific item within the ASI Air that myself and many others use as well and that is the elimination of the TF card slot so about a day ago there was a new update from their social media pages about the refreshed 2024 version of the ASI Air Plus is now online. In this update we eliminated the TF card slot in the body and unified the memory of the ASI Air Plus to 256 gigs. Now there used to be two different versions of this. You have the original ASI version with only 32 gigabytes of internal memory and then you have the brand new proprietary which they got away from the Raspberry Pi version to an internal 256 gig version that was about a hundred dollars more which I actually own that same exact model there and it's on my rig right behind me which still had the TF card reader but now apparently with the newer versions that people are buying, it will not have this card slot, unfortunately. Continuing on, which can be better guaranteed the stability of the data storage and using your experience? If you need to expand the storage space additionally, you can use the USB to connect to a USB flash device, which can support up to one terabyte. That is cool and all. I know a lot of people have used the USB version, but I did as well, but I come to find out with the original version that there was a big issue with the USB one not being able to read and two the ASI plus actually ruined several of my USB devices because of issues with their voltage in addition what they said the old version of the ASI plus will be discontinued and thank you to every user for their witness and choice so with the brand new version now, there's not going to be two different ones. You will be able to find, you know, just one singular version, which will have the 256 gig. Now, I've been looking at a lot of comments in the community and including myself. I don't really think that is a good idea to get rid of that slot because of that issue. Like my own self, I had failing USB devices and USB devices are a lot less unreliable than they are from the memory cards and plus they are a little bit cheaper as well to use you can kind of easily swap in and out for that but I wanted to show you something of what I have discovered with this so what I have in front of me is the original ASI Air that I've had it still has the PC plug-in and the TF card reader now my version of the 256 still has this but what happens in the case that, you know, you have issues with the USB, which I had to send this back to ZWO to fix, and they were really confused and never heard of this issue before. But the funny thing is, in the past two months, while I had this version, when I was having the issues, many others were reported the same problem as well. So it's also nice that you don't want to have to use up a USB 3 device uh, plug-in for this because you want to power something like a planetary camera that you use for imaging for guide like for guiding in general you only have that one slot and you're missing out on two of them yeah you do have more slots on your camera itself but that does fill up a lot of issues with this you know if you're connecting a filter wheel you're connecting in uh, electronic focus you might have USB plug-in do heaters of course you do have these but a lot of times you do need uh, a converter like I've had to do to connect this to these plugins to use as do heaters which you know, I kind of like the adaptability that the reliability as well for the TF reader because you won't have to worry about issues with voltage changes. And I think that's what the main problem was, was stated from ZWO on my USB devices is there is an irregularly sent of 
the data coming through and the power going through and it kills the USB devices. With the TF card readers, you don't have to worry about that. And I'm not sure why they eliminated that completely. Maybe it's a little bit of a faster transfer. And also trying to transfer data from the USB-C over to your computer, it is a little bit tedious, especially when you're shooting on board in here and then transferring to the USB. It takes forever. It took so long for me to transfer everything to a USB device just to plug it into a computer and not have them to take the entire ASI Air off just to plug it in to your computer to get the data off of it, unless you have a really, really long cable that you've connected from the ASI Air to your computer, so you don't have to worry about that. But it was just very nice to just hit the slot button, put the card reader in, and you're ready to go. So I have a little bit of discrepancies about that, and I know a lot from the community as well, but I definitely do want to hear from you on your thoughts on this, whether you thought that getting rid of the of the TEF slot was a good idea, or are you liking the fact that it has a larger onboard memory that you can just use a USB device, and if you haven't had any problems with it, just, you know, let's start up the discussion for this and see what the results have. So leave your comments down below, and I will chime in back too, and let's get this discussion going. And I will see you in the next video whenever I get clear skies again.